Hello everyone and welcome to your weekly snap of self-love. I am Christine, your mind and body empowerment coach. I hope that this video finds you all well. If you haven't already, definitely go ahead and check out the rest of the videos on my channel. You can go into the playlist section and see the different categories that I have. If it's not this video that clicks for you, there's probably something else on this channel that will be helpful, that will resonate with you. So today I decided to pull a soul truth card and we have this one. From whom can I release my judgment right now? Judgment closes our heart to truth and separates us from love. It binds us to our fear and holds us in shame. On whom are you placing judgment right now? Is it someone in your life? Is it yourself? Release the shackles, drop the expectations, and be grateful for what is. Today's soul action. Look at the person you are judging as if you are looking at a small child. See them learning and growing, falling down and making mistakes. See their desire to be loved and accepted. Add even more grace to open your heart to this truth. When I lift the judgment from myself and others, I uncover my own truth. I am loved, I am whole, I am limitless, and so are they. Wow, so this card definitely calls, all the, calls out the fact that we really are all equal, okay? We are, we all come from the same source energy the energy of love and light, right? We all come from that same source of light and love, okay? So at the end of the day, when you are placing judgment on someone else, you're actually placing judgment on yourself. So that person that you are judging is reflecting back to you something that is unhealed within yourself. So they are acting as a mirror, okay? You might be projecting onto them. You might be, you know, throwing your frustrations their way depending on the situation, depending on what they're doing that's kind of triggering you a little bit. But they are acting as a teacher in that moment. They're acting as a guide in that moment even though they don't have any clue of that. And you might not consciously in, in that moment, you might not be thinking that. You might just be getting frustrated or placing judgment. But really and truly see it for what it is, okay? Because like I said, we are all connected. We all come from the same source. Who you judge out there is really a judgment placed on yourself. So what is that person teaching you about you? And it's not to say that you're this evil, horrible person. Absolutely not. But what it is telling you is where inside of you are you feeling unloved, underappreciated, undervalued, not good enough, unacceptable, okay? Because oftentimes that's when we start judging other people. That's when we start pointing the finger, okay? And sometimes we do it very, very innocently. It's not this big, dramatic, horrible thing. But when we do it, that's usually what it is. There's something within us that's not feeling enough. And so we go outside and we start to say, well, you know, look at that person over there. Or Yeah, and it, it might not even be something that that person is doing, but we might see something that they have that we think we need. Oh, they have that. They have all this money and they're doing this and they're doing that and I'm over here, you know, I'm poor or whatever. You know, that poor me, woe is me mindset, okay? So always go deeper, be consciously aware when you're doing it and then take it back to yourself. Always bring it back home, okay? Always bring it back home and point the finger at no one but yourself. Okay, why is this person triggering me? Why am I judging? Why am I saying this? Why am I thinking this? What's really going on here? Okay, always go deeper. And like the card suggests, see that other person through childlike eyes and see yourself through childlike eyes. Be compassionate with both of you, okay? Whether you're judging yourself, obviously, yes, be compassionate. If you're judging another person, be consciously aware, acknowledge it. Okay, I'm doing that again. Okay, that's okay, no worries. There's something more to the story here. I'm not a terrible, mean, horrible person. <laughs> There's more to the story. What is this person reflecting to me? What is this person trying to teach me? Even though they have no clue they're doing that. Um, okay, so again, always bring it back to yourself, go deeper, ask those questions, try to get to the heart of the matter, and just give yourself so much compassion and love and empathy because we are all doing the best that we can in any given moment on any given day, okay? We're all operating at a place that we're most evolved at and that person might be completely apart from where you're at. So always keep that in mind too, okay? We're all doing the best that we can, but that doesn't change the fact that we all do truly come from the same source, okay? So we are all connected. And, you know, like I said, when you're judging another person, you're really judging yourself. So definitely keep that in mind next time you find yourself making some little snide comments or thinking some things or feeling like, you know, you don't have enough because that person has all of this, that, and the other thing. Just bring it back to yourself. What is the deeper message here? 
So I hope that you all found this helpful. Definitely stop by next week for your next weekly snap of self-love. Until then, I hope you all have a great week and I'll talk to you again soon. Take care. Bye.